And Steve Jobs was many things, but he was two things above all others. He was a visionary asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and you cannot have one without the other. These two things speak to one another. He was an impossible manager. I would not wish on my worst enemy to be personally managed by Steve Jobs. He was not a micromanager. He was a nano-manager. <laughs> he would climb into the bodies of his subordinates and try to move them around with his mind. The head of the Macintosh project, when asked for public comment on Steve Jobs' management style, the only thing he would ever say publicly was this. He would make a most excellent king of France. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to admit, it's working for him. It is. The only people who are getting just a little tired of it are Apple's board of directors. They're just a little tired of it. They're going, oh my god, I know he's a fucking genius. I just wish that sometimes in meetings he would stop cursing at us. And I just wish that sometimes at those meetings he would wear shoes. And they get an idea. What if we had someone next to Steve. You know, someone who's a little older, someone who doesn't freak the investors out so much, someone who looks good in a suit, someone who wears shoes. And they convince Steve to do this, and Steve and the board go out looking, and who they find is John Scully. And John Scully was at Pepsi, and Scully didn't know fuck all about computers, but he did look great in a suit. And Jobs goes to Scully and says, come. Join me at Apple. And Scully says, Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about the, um, the clicky clicky. <laughs> I don't know. And John says, What? Do you want to sell fucking sugar water for the rest of your life, or do you want to change the world? And he looks at it. Steve Jobs, laser death vision. Da -da 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 Scully says, Bruh, change the world, change the world. And he goes and he joins Jobs and Adam. <laughs> and everything's great. For a while. And you'll find this a lot in Steve Jobs' stories. Things are great for a while. And then Scully makes the inevitable slide from genius to bozo. And Jobs realizes he needs to throw him out of the company. So Jobs stages a coup d'etat. thing about staging the coup d'etat is that you really want to win. Because if you don't win, it is so awkward at the office the next day. And the board backs Scully. And in short order, Jobs is thrown out of his own company. He's a laughing stock in Silicon Valley. The metaphor had shifted right out from underneath him. 